I am one with my glorious I am presence and Holy Christ Self, my personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment, and my aura is fully contained within my heart diamond and within Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. The light is once again pouring down upon your planet into every particle of creation and into every being. But if you are open and willing to receive it, you can receive that much more. Ascension is a conscious process, beloveds. And although unawakened humanity is still receiving the light, they do not know what to do with it or how to respond to it. And so they can use the light to continue in the illusion. For the light itself is pure and unconditioned. It can be likened to pure love and pure energy. And then it should be quite easy to understand that this love and this energy can be directed to anything or anyone which the person who has received it chooses to give it to. On the other hand, those of you who are awakened should know that this light and love that you receive should best be directed towards divine activities, towards filling your own physical body with light and love. Your body requires love as part of its healing process. Have you ever just sat and loved your body without touching it in any fashion whatsoever, but simply seeing the light of God and feeling the love of God in every cell of your body? This will greatly speed up your healing process if you do this, beloveds. You need not even think of what your problem is. If you wish to add any mental element whatsoever to this love, simply see or imagine that part of your body in its perfected form. You might also choose to imagine your entire body in its perfected, eternally youthful form. Filled then with pure unconditional love which can be most easily perceived 
as a pink light. Focus on this pink ray of divine feminine energy and pure unconditional love and maintain this vision in your physical body. As you do this, you may begin to feel an ecstatic feeling within your body. You may feel a tingling. You may feel heat. All of these are different sensations that you may perceive as you focus on the feeling of love in your very own body. Then after you have filled your physical body with this love, move on to your aura, to your energy body, and fill that with the same love frequencies and hold that visualization until you begin to perceive this love energy in your entire aura. This will accelerate and facilitate the healing of any part of your being. This is a technique that is freely available to each and every one of you. And most of you, my awakened children, are choosing to follow a path of self-healing you are taking responsibility for your own health, your own wellness. And this is an important step along the path of mastery. You do not see the masters running off to others for healing. Being a master be, means being a master of your own health as well as every other aspect of your being. This is why I have given the heart diamond to humanity so that you can use this wondrous tool for your own self healing for that is where healing must start, beloveds. It will be very difficult for you to heal others if you have not mastered at least some to some degree the healing of your own being. So you should always begin by mastering the heart diamond's use within your own being before you begin to offer it for the healing of others. This is, however, the next step. When you can make the heart diamond available to your loved ones or to anyone who wishes to receive the healing through your heart diamond. You should request Christmas for specific instructions on how to use the heart diamond to heal others. For this must be done according to strict protocols 
Although it is true that you cannot misuse the heart diamond, even when you are using it for others, if you wish this to evolve in the best fashion for everyone, then you should follow the protocols that she has learned about from her more than 25 years of working with the heart diamond. And then, of course, it can be used for places, for geographical areas, for animals, for the water. Its eventual use is unlimited. But you must progress slowly in this, beloveds. Take your time and do not rush into any of these advanced uses of the heart diamond until you have mastered the beginning uses. But you are all healers, each and every one of you has the ability to heal yourself and others within you. Most, if not all of you, have already been healers in your past lives. You have used many different techniques to bring about healing. And this is another use of regressions to remember how you used to heal and any other spiritual abilities that you had in past life that you would like to use now. It is all within you, beloveds. Everything you have ever done every gift you have ever had. And now is the time to bring them forth so that you and humanity might profit from these gifts. Much healing is needed at this time. In every dimension, where duality still exists. And each of you has a very specific role to play in this healing process. You must start by healing yourself. But you do not need to be 100% healed in order to begin healing others. Just to give you a rough estimate, I would say that if you are about 75% healed, then you are ready to begin healing others. And your own healing will continue all the while. The people who require your special type of healing are already around you and known to you, or at least they are known to your I am presence. And as you are prepared to return to your healing practices in this life, those people will reveal themselves to you as you make your healing abilities known and available to others. 
Many people are still choosing to keep their spiritual practices and even their interest in spirituality a secret. They do not talk about it to their spouses, to their colleagues, or to their friends. But if they sense an opening in you, they will open up to you about their spirituality. So you start by preparing yourself first. And then dare to let it be known to those around you that you are interested in these things, that you do practice meditation and other alternative healing techniques. And as you begin to talk about it, those who have kept it a secret will open up to you and will be grateful to have found someone to share this with. And then, as they learn to trust you, they will ask you to assist them in their healing process. Remember, although I use the expression that you can begin healing others, that is only an expression. You will only ever be a facilitator for each individual's self-healing. You can accompany them. You can direct and guide them. But they will always do the healing themselves. They will accept it within themselves. They will guide and direct from within their own process as they follow your guidance and direction. In this way, there should never be any ego inflation by your thinking that you are a healer and that you are doing great things to other people. When the ego get involved, then so does karma. And unconditional love and light flies away. So when you wish to work with these healing modalities, that Christmas is offering to you. Remember to never let the ego be involved. To always let unconditional love and light flow through you towards the person that you wish to assist. But be detached from all the results. Whether healing occurs or not, has nothing to do with you, beloveds. It is totally up to the person to accept or to refuse this healing. I have given you a lot to think about in today's video. I thank you for listening. I love you and I bless you. I am Metatron.